planet Medusa looks like a dead world, but it's really only wrapped in a deep sleep. It was struck by solar flares that spread a noxious gas. All these Medusan creatures were put into a deep sleep. And now we'll awaken one and put it to work for us. There, that looks like a likely specimen. Hit it with the blue beam. The Medusans have been lying dormant for a long time. It doesn't matter. The creature will respond to the energy shock. It may respond and get out of control. Nothing gets out of my control. Ah, the ugly thing is stirring, and it shows signs of anger. Good. Look, Mogor, I believe we've awakened a very enraged, red-headed female. Perfect. Now, put it to sleep, and we'll take it back as a surprise gift for King Zarkon. It's a repulsive-looking creature, Lotor. Things like that should be dismantled. Unless, of course, it can be made vicious and destructive. The creature is nothing. It will never... Ah, what? So you see, Your Majesty, it's really quite a remarkable creature. With this green Medusa, I will destroy planet Eris and the mighty Voltron. Hey! Anybody here? We're looking for little kids! Without any mothers! Or any fathers either! Princess Allura would like you to bring all orphans to the castle so she can find new families and homes for them. Hi, are you looking for a new father and mother? I think we're beginning to get through. Voltron will be back after these messages. And now, back to Voltron, defender of the universe. I welcome all of you who have brought these poor orphans to me here at the castle today. <laughs> Sir, this little boy lost both his parents. They were lost when the evil Zarkhan attacked our planet. These children need foster fathers, and I think that one has an eye on you, Keith. You picked me out of the whole bunch? Well... If you're that smart, I don't really see how I can turn you down. <laughs> I'll see that these children are all well-fed and clothed, and all of us will do our best to fit them into new families and homes. I know what it's like, finding new parents and a new home. I was an orphan, and I remember the day my new parents came to take me away. Are you sure you like living with us? Yes, ma'am. I know I will. She was very good to me, but I always wished I'd had my own mother. Huh? 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 It's Zarkon! To your battle stations!
thing by fighting the snakes. There's too many of them. Forget the snakes! Aim for the middle and hit its power circuits! Stand back! I got dead aim on its belt buckle. Hey, that was close. You can't win by just using the lions. You'll have to join forces fast and form Voltron. Voltron will be back after these messages. And now, back to Voltron, defender of the universe. <gasps> the thing got Pidge! Give the beast all we got! Easy, Lance. It's got Pidge. just dropped out of sight. I can't believe it. Pidge! Gone! We can't quit. Let's get to the castle and use the monitor. Excellent. One space explorer captured. They can no longer form the mighty robot Voltron. Now we attack. Immediately. This time we bring planet Aris to its knees. The monster buried itself in the ground and disappeared completely. Not a sign of it anywhere. I'd say good riddance to the robot beast, except it took Pidge with it. Poor little guy, all along with that big ugly thing somewhere. We gotta keep looking. The monster's bound to show up above ground sooner or later. Well, when it does, I only hope that Pidge shows up too. over every inch of that ground again until we find Pidge. He's awful little to see from way up here. We have a fix on the green Medusa and the small Voltron Force member. Capture both of them. Fooled, you eat. Ah, ah, 
take that thing away. What do you think I am? Some kind of an animal like you? <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean... No! It's a woman beast, and it wants to be friendly. Creature is attacking us now. You whipped him! You drove him away! Sorry about the way I treated you. I always liked snakes a lot. Really? I fear we may have created a robot monster with too good a heart for our purposes. The creature has done her work well. She has a captive. He's not a captive. The beast drove our spaceships away furiously to protect him. You do not understand the way real evil works, Lotor. She only toys with him. She is like the scorpion who makes friendly gestures to the mosquito, begging it to come close, to have trust, then suddenly snaps it up and devours it. Well, if she's too friendly for too long, her mosquito may find a way to escape. Rest easy. I will go to her, and with one wave of my magic staff, I will kindle such hatred and savagery in the beast that nothing on planet Eris will survive! We scoured the whole area where Pidge disappeared. Nothing. I'm afraid he's lost. Poor little fella. He wouldn't even make a bite for that big monster. <sighs> Alien ships alert. It's gotta be Zarkon. He knows Pidge is gone and there's no way we can form Voltron. Hey, team, you read me? That sounds like Pidge's voice. Pidge, is that you? Where are you? Just taking it easy in this big lady's hand. Her name is Anga. She's green, got kinda nice hair, and she's real friendly. You don't have to worry. She's taken real good care of me. Have you lost your mind? Hey, ask him if she's got a friend, Keith. No time to wait for Hagar's witchcraft. My new monster will defeat all of the Voltron Force once and for all. Hit him! Head on! <gasps> There's the creature that captured Pidge. <laughs> It's Hagar! Now we'll soon break up this friendly little get-together! Don't let the old witch get close to you. You're a nice lady, but she'll try to turn you into a terrible monster. Do as I say! Pick up the small one and crush him! You don't have to take orders. Put your foot down. You're bigger than she is. I command you to obey. I'll handle it. Now. <laughs> ah! Go back to nothing. What happened? 
happen? Useless! You too! My work is done! Voltron will be back after these messages. And now, back to Voltron, defender of the universe. Are you okay? Pidge, are you still there? Can you join us? We need you to form Voltron. <laughs> The team needs me, and I gotta just sit here on the ground and watch and do nothing. I will help you join your friends. Gotta get my lion. We go. I know you're big and strong and really move fast, but it's an awful long way to the lion, and I don't think my short legs will get me there in time to be any help. I will carry you. No, you can't. You're hurt. Get on my back. You sure you're all right? Do not worry. hurt you a lot worse than I thought. You never should have tried this. I've got to get to my lion and help the team, but I'll be back to take care of you as soon as it's over. I promise. Okay, let's do what we do best. Ready to form Voltron. Activate interlock. Dynatherms connected. Infracells up. Mega thrusters are go. Voltron! And all forms the head. <laughs> 
Zarkon is defeated once more, and Pidge's green friend has recovered and returned home. A good day. The boys deserve a reward. For that, I'll form Voltron all by myself. I don't want to brag, but it was kind of important that I showed up today. I have a special reward. Wow! Bring on Zarkon! Bring on Lotor! Bring on the old witch! <laughs> <laughs> it was a real good day! Right. We saved planet Aris and those strange green people. It's good to know that wherever there is oppression or injustice throughout the galaxies, there is one thing we can always count on to right those wrongs. Voltron! Defender of the Universe! <laughs>